Hi, I'm Pete from Jamie's Food Team and I'm going to show you how to prepare a Dover sole. Here's my fish. As you can see, nice fat chubby Dover sole. It's a flat fish. There's a lovely dark silvery brown side on top and a white side on the bottom. And what we're going to do today is take the skin off and then give it a little trim. So the first thing we need to do place the fish flat on the board and take a knife. Now we're not going to chop the tail off, just make a little incision here through the skin. And what we're trying to do is create a little flap that I can grip and pull the skin off. Right, it might take a minute for you to create this little flap. Once you've done it, that's what you're looking for. So, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to put my palm flat on the tail of the fish, and I'm going to get myself a tea towel that I'm going to use, really, just to get a better grip on the fish. So, palm down on the tail. And with my tea towel in my hand to grip it, I'm simply going to slowly peel the skin off the fish. And stop at this bit because I want to keep the head on, so I'm going to peel a little more carefully around the head. Don't want to pull it off. There we go. That's the skin off in one piece. Now we don't need this, so I'm going to chuck it out. So I'll do the same thing on the second side. Little incision on the bottom. I'll do it the other way around now, so that you can see it a little more clearly. Place my hand on the, on the fish. and pull slowly and gently any bits come up with the skin gently pull them off there we are, now when it gets to the head be a little more careful there we go that's the white skin off the bottom So here we have our skinned dover sole. These whiskery bits at the side, you can leave them on if you like, if you like that look. If you want to get rid of them, the easiest thing to do is just trim them off with a pair of scissors. So a nice pair of sturdy kitchen scissors and just cut them off. There's nothing to it, no trick. It really is as easy as it looks. You can leave the tail on if you like. Just give it a little clean. There's your Dover sole. Ready for pan frying, grilling, barbecuing, roasting, poaching, steaming, anything you like. Neatly skinned and ready to go. And that's how to prepare a Dover sole.